materials. Test tube, balloon, stirring rod, two cups, matches, a Bunsen burner, and a ring stand. You also need six grams of granulated copper and three grams of powdered sulfur. After getting your components, carefully mix the copper and the sulfur using your mixing stick. Be careful not to inhale because it's not good for you. Uh, make sure it's very even. The copper tends to sink to the bottom of the whole compound, so you kind of have to get it up from the bottom. Clumps are not that great, but they happen, and it works out in the end. And that's not good. That's why you have towels underneath. And now to light the Bunsen burner using the matches. The Bunsen burner is lit. Let's turn straight and I'll make sure it's uh, okay. Light the match first, then the Bunsen burner. You don't want gas everywhere. of the tube. That was fun. I haven't done that before. Light the match and put it away in a bit of water. Ah, now Carefully place both of the copper and sulfur, the mixture of them, into your test tube. and then cover the top with a balloon. So this will keep gases from escaping and gives you <coughs> it lets you do the mass conservation tests too. So now I'm going to take this over and weigh it to get a before weight. Okay, now we're going to light it in its container on the ring stand. And the trick is, is as soon as it, as soon as the sulfur begins to ignite to remove the flame, and then watch what happens. Let me get this situated and very carefully get it on.
the three and six experiment with uh, portions of six granulated copper, six grams, and three grams of powdered sulfur didn't work out as well as it should have, but uh, four and two should. So, so we're going to try it again with four and two. Again, as soon as it ignites, move the fire. And that was sulfur and copper. And this is copper sulfide, which is the product of the reaction. It's a bluish color, and its properties are completely different from those of sulfur and copper.